Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video, and thank you for tuning in. Should do this at the start of these videos because the listening rate at the end of the videos isn't that great. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, I genuinely like hearing feedback on these. Um, I've had some beautiful discussions with some amazing people around some of the topics that we've spoken about. So I am very interested in hearing what you have to say. But on today's topic, uh, I wanted to talk about something that, that I believe we all pursue. And it's good to pursue it, um, but it can also be very toxic and catastrophic to our own lives. Now, this is a saying that I came up with whilst I was having a chat, um, doing some mentoring for a young fella. Uh, and it goes, perfect exists because we exist, but perfection is an impossibility. And what I mean by that is we are perfect because we simply exist. Everything that we do is ultimately perfect because it's what we do but perfection is an impossibility in, it, perfection is an ever moving goal that is unattainable for us because our perception of perfection is constantly and always going to be outside of our grasp the problem is we get so caught up in chasing perfect or the perfected perfect life that we beat ourselves up <laughs> getting distracted by doggos again um, so we lost my train of thought now dogs who would have thought they would distract me so much me that's who um, so the issue that we have within this world is we get caught up in trying to chase perfection that we then beat ourselves up and we we knock our own wind out of our own sails because we are chasing an impossibility and when you are trying to chase an unattainable goal then you are just just begin to become uh, unmotivated you'll be like I have been over the last few days of trying to to be perfect in every single way and that's never going to work and there's a saying from uh, Simon Sinek and this this is amazing because It, it very succinctly and almost in a slightly confusing way, which is even makes it even better, um, just describes what we should be doing. So Simon Sinek says, wait for this car to go past because we might lose the, uh, the <laughs> God, brain's not working, we'll wait for this pre-workout to kick in. Uh, well, we'll get back into this quote and as Simon Sinek says better is better than best you can uh, you, you will always be at your best because that's ultimately what you are doing um, every single decision that you make every action that you make everything that you do is technically your best and it's technically your best because that's what has happened in that moment now, you might be able to do better, but at the moment, at that point of time, you are doing your best. You are constantly doing your best, but we should always strive to be better. Your best is, is the best in that present moment, and that present moment is an ever-changing moment, and you 
next moment is always going to come and it's always going to be there and it's, it's, it's forever changing. So we can always strive to be better. Always. I don't care how good you are, what you're doing, how, you know, quote unquote perfect you might think you are. You can always strive to be better. And we should always strive to be better. We shouldn't let that get in the way of us living and um, get in the way of our own mental health and everything like that. So don't beat yourself up if you aren't, uh, you know, at your quote unquote best or, or you aren't quote unquote striving to be better. But you should always, should always, most of the time, we'll put it that way. Most of the time should always, <laughs> I can't even talk. Craggy, I am, uh, ah, the joys. The joys of doing this live, the joys of unscripted, the joys of ADHD, the joys of it all. It's beautiful. In the past, I would normally not do this video because I'd get caught, like, I wouldn't post this video because I would get caught up in me not being perfect. Uh, but that's a beautiful tie-in, I guess, to this topic. But by doing this like this, this is how I do get better. And this is technically my best that I can do right now. So uh, you guys need to deal with with my, my stuttering, with my distractions, with everything that's going on. Because this is real world. This is real Sam. This is my existence. But I am striving to be better. Constantly striving to be better. And I almost to a point of uh, where it can become problematic. So pushing to be better too much is also, can also be a bad thing. So it's about balance and, and life is tricky, man. Like it is so damn tricky. You know, we, we, we try to chase this, this perfect world, this, this perfect ideology of, of what we are, what we should be. Um, but it never works out that way, and we're never going to to exist in this utopian world um, because we're humans, and 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 the point of being humans is the point of us fucking up. It's it's the point of us making mistakes. That's that's what makes us human. That's what makes us beautiful. It is our minor imperfections that make us perfect. There's a thing that I remember telling one of my girlfriends when I was in high school, and this has stuck with me for a very long time. Well, stuck with me up till now, and now it's going to stick with me forever as well. But this is perfect for you. So this is me telling this to you right now. It is your minor imperfections that make me love you more. There you go. I think we'll end on that one. Uh, I do love you guys. I love everybody. I love everything in this world. And don't chase perfection because perfect perfection does not exist. Perfect does because you exist, because I exist, because this world exists. But perfection does not exist. It is an impossibility. Always chase to be better because you're always technically at your best in that present moment and better is helping you out in the future. So, and once more, it is your minor imperfections that make me love you more. Thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Shout out to these legends, uh, gym time and Shock and sleep last night, so we'll see how this goes. I'm feeling fatigued, but we are getting there. Feeling feeling much better. Feel the winds starting to catch in my sails a bit more again. So uh, that's home stretch. All right, guys. Thank you very much. And I will chat to you guys soon. And as always, much love and namaste.